man, tennis preacher, prophet, and the tennis psychic coming back at you again with another video. Oh my God, I got to respond to Mr. Boris Becker. I know y'all already heard it. Boris Becker says that, um, he says that, um, um, uh, that Federer couldn't beat Bjorn, Bjorn Borg or he couldn't beat John McEnroe. And and whether well, Federer goes back then and play with Wood Racket, so they come today, Boris Becker, and I want to make sure, he said, he said, uh, he pretty well said a hell no, 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 no. He's the greatest one. He did say, uh, thank God, he did say Federer is greater than uh, Bjorn Bohr. Who Bjorn Bohr was very great. Bjorn Bohr is one of the greats. And uh, he said that, uh, he did say that uh, Federer is greater than John McEnroe. And John McEnroe is one of the greats too. Okay, so this is not, okay, let me, let me, let me get this clear. This is not a greatness debate. It's about, can if, if Federal went back into that era, or if they came into this era, how would they match up? Who would win? Is Boris Becker right that he said that a Federal wouldn't beat those guys? Okay, what do I think about that? Okay, okay, let me just first of all say this here. Uh, uh, this is not a bad or this is not a ridiculous argument. Now, that's not why. I See, see. I don't. I do disagree with Boris Becker, but not because I think this argument is a ridiculous argument. Oh, listen, this would be a great matchups. Be on board. He got eleven majors. He's one of. He's one of the greats. John Mac. Even though John McEnroe people, and I think I did a video. I should upload it again. Even though John McEnroe only got seven majors, people. A lot of experts have said this. A lot of fans have said this. A lot of people say this, that John McEnroe is one of the baddest ass guys to ever pick up a racket. And some people think he's the baddest ass. I don't mean like, we know he had terrible behavior. I'm not talking about the behavior. I'm talking about skill. They said he was a bad ass. What some people think John McEnroe is the most talented guy. Champion though. We know we got people who's talented. They got raw talent who have ne who has uh, who have never won a major. But if you say a champion. And I think I told y'all that. I'm one of those. I feel John McEnroe. I think I took and said it in a video that he, somebody asked me, who do I think is the most talented guy, champion though, that ever pick up a racket? I think I said maybe McEnroe. And I know it could be Federer too, but I know, I want to let people know how badass McEnroe was. And McEnroe was number one people in singles and in doubles at the same time for four consecutive years. And McEnroe also has a record that he got one, he got a record that the Djokovic couldn't break and Federer couldn't break. He got he won the most matches in one year. The highest percentage of matches. I think it was like 82 and 3. And I think Federer was like one match away and the Djokovic was like one match away. So for one year people, McEnroe was like unbeatable. So so the matchup between so uh, how you say this uh, trying to uh, compare a matchup or uh, or making some mental matchup or imaginary matchup between Federer and Bjorn Borg, Borg is not crazy uh, or between Federer and John McEnroe is not crazy. Okay, like I said before, Boris Becker said that uh, that that. That Federer is the greatest based on checking off all his achievements in comparison to others, at least in the open era. Okay? So, so, so then you probably say, what is the problem? Do I have a problem with Boris Becker's statement? Yes, I got a big problem. Boris Becker said that Federer couldn't beat them. Hey, man, listen, if Boris Becker would have said it's 50 50, um, I probably, this would have been a really quick video. I would have said, I agree with Boris Becker. Tennis preacher, tennis prophet signing off. But Bo if Boris Becker would have said, okay, I think John McEnroe would have been a hard match. John McEnroe, he's considered to be probably the best serving volleyer of all time by many. Okay, 
Uh, he had hands like a cat, soft hands. Uh, beautiful serve too, like Federer. So if if if, if Boris Becker would have said that, I think, cause listen, you can be greater than somebody, but you may match up bad with them. We saw this with Federer and Nadal. Let's say if Nadal would have been in a in the era with. Uh, John McEnroe, we would have never known that Federer was a bad, that Nadal uh, matched up very well with Federer, and Federer matched up terrible with Nadal, at least in the past. Now, it may be a different story. Now, obviously, it's a different story, at least on the non-clay services. Federer's beat Nadal the last five times. But still, if Federer would have never played Nadal in this era, and Nadal was in another era, I probably would have said Federer would have dusted Nadal on clay. So you never really know until players match up. So this is about how would these players match up. So, but Boris Becker, see the thing with Boris Becker that I didn't like what he said. No, he, he's not giving Federer a chance. Man, you crazy. Boris Becker, come on now. Listen, people, it's definitely 50-50 at least. And let me just say something here. Uh, if Boris Becker would have said something like this, it's a bad matchup for Federer. That would have made more sense to me. If he would have said, uh, Federer matches up bad with John McEnroe style, or Federer matches up bad with uh, Bo uh, Bjorn Borg style. He didn't say that. He ain't talking about a bad matchup. He just said, uh, Federer, yeah, he got greatness as far as the achievements, but uh, uh, can he beat McEnroe? I say no. He said that like that. I think that's for Beto. He's can he be beyond boy? I say not. I think he said it sort of like that. Man, listen, man. Get out of here. Let me tell y'all why it's definitely 50-50. First of all, not just how great Federer is. And I would say, I would give Nadal and the Djokovic the same thing. And Pete Sampras. Those four guys got that level stuff. So they can go up in levels. And if you can do that, you can beat anybody. You can dust them too if your level is on. So I would say it's 50-50. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the style stuff. Yes, it is. It, I don't know who will win because all those guys are really good. We used to, we're not talking about greatness now. We're just talking about skill and all that stuff matching up. But it's definitely 50-50. Uh, who would I give the edge to? I would give the edge slightly to Federer. Uh, slightly. Now, notice what I'm saying now. I'm going to say slightly. Now, now, I know people may come back and say, oh, Federer will blow those guys out. No, no, no. It, listen, people, like I told y'all, John McEnroe is, is considered to be one. I'm talking about bringing McEnroe into this, this, to this era with today's level, today's power, today's rackets, and, and he's a champion too. And uh, Beyond Boy got level majors. And be, bring him into this era. Beyond Boy was a bat boy too, man. High mental game and all that. But I would say it's 50 50. And I would give a federal maybe a 5% edge too. But for, but for Boris Becker, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That already make no sense. Saying a federal, but just he, I say not, he would beat those guys. He would definitely beat them half of the time or more. I mean, please. And, uh, and, and I know another reason why I'm saying it's 50 50 or, or more in Federer's favor. Federer has shown if nobody is in his head, if it like that's why I like this this rebirth, this this born again Federer, this re this Federer that has had a rebirth. If Federer's head is clear of anybody, he usually doesn't lose in the rivalry. So if unless he, if he has no head trip with McEnroe, and if he has no head trip with Beyond Boar, um. I think he'll do okay with them. But I call it, I say 50 50, and I give the edge to Federer. Now, but it's definitely close. I don't want to hear no. Listen, this is 50 50 stuff. I mean, we don't You got know. to keep this close to 50 50. He ain't giving Federer a chance to beat them. Man, get out of here. This video is over. Tell this preacher, Prophet Psychic, signing off. Have a good day.